three. Now we left off, we were, um, well, I don't know. I mean, a lot of things, you know, kind of went downhill from here. It was, uh, oh, well, we can see that there was a, a stairway over here. At least he got these back, and, well, someone had a fun day here. Yeah, we went through here. Up here, quickly. We think you'll be the friend. I thought I was the only one still alive. I can't believe I found you. <laughs> Something happened. I don't know what. It, it, it was like a shockwave. It, it passed through the entire base. People started changing. It was crazy. I, I was working up here on the vent shafts. Well, I don't know how I survived. Go for help. Please. Because you're hiding over here, goddammit. No way. I'm staying up here. It's the only safe place. Or so he thinks, right? It's the only safe place. Oh, whatever. Also, there was actually a few other... Yeah. Hold on. There we go. Power demand. This is the audio log of Frank Delahue, engineering manager assigned to power production, dated October 18, 2145. I don't know what's in there. The current operational status of the grid is 23% over nominal capacity. I've increased work shifts to 12 hours a day for all personnel to keep up with demand. The constant and increasing load from the Delta Complex is causing havoc. Hmm. We are going to start losing critical systems if we have to sustain these levels much longer. I request clearance to requisition parts from other departments in order to maintain our equipment. Okay, I don't know what is going on over in Delta, but I'm doing all I can down here. The constant demands are bad enough, but the rumors going around are making things a whole lot worse. Hmm. And I gotta tell you, if things don't get better soon, all hell is gonna break loose. And the funny thing is, I mean, it actually did. So, I mean, you guys complain about too much... What the... Check over there, there wasn't any, anyone over there. Oh, it doesn't matter. Dick. Alright then. Beat them down with a flashlight, though. <laughs> Anyways, I mean, there's a fire black precautions too. This is the audio log of Frank Delahue, engineering manager assigned to power production, dated October 24th, 2145. Reclamation problems continue to plague the main processor. Two more valve overloads in that unit in just the past week. These overloads can destroy the valves, causing very dangerous fire, jetting with enough heat to incinerate sensitive equipment nearby. Today we've had only one reported injury as a result of these valve failures. And this is due in large part to the quick response of the engineering team. Our procedure of entering the failure code 842 and the operation terminal has proved adequate and I recommend no changes to that procedure. Well, y'all fucked up. It's funny as old thing, you know, how from Doom 2? Doom 3, you know, just let it come out the way it is. Actually, they want to have some more Doom games along the way that help you know, you know, get to the point where it was. And he also got fucked up too. We got a new guy over here. Who's our undocumented cargo? Wait. Uh, yeah, we already read these ones. Mix them in again. Jackhammers and chainsaws. Interesting. Well, for now. This is Mark Stanton, Manifest Controller, currently stationed at Mars City. I'm not sure who to send this to, so I decided to send it to quite a few people. If you're on the recipient list, please take a moment to review this report. It is quite important. I'm very concerned over the shipping procedures out here. I am the Manifest Controller, and as such, I need to be informed of everything coming in and out of Mars City. Someone here is subverting my position and preventing me from getting data on things being shipped. This is unacceptable. Not only could this reflect poorly on my upcoming review, but this is my job and I'm tired of being out of the loop. I have no idea who keeps telling the shipping crews to allow things in and out without allowing me to produce or procure the manifest. But whoever it is, it must stop. Heaven. <laughs> one of the dock workers actually told me to piss off when I tried to stop one of the last containers from going straight to Delta. I immediately filed a report and will follow up with the transit manager next time I see him. End of log. Fuck your laptop. <laughs> 
Got an ACO card. Bandage you. This is Specialist Wilson. My team is gone. They're all dead. I'm running blind here. What are my orders? Over. Specialist Wilson, this is Sergeant Kelly. Stay sharp, son. Move to your last known RP and fortify your position. We'll find you. What else could go wrong, eh? What else could go wrong? Hello. Bald head. Really not gonna make that, that easy, huh? Good. That's a good little spider thingy. Spider robo spider dog thingy. That's it. Oh yeah, was the guy in the video conference with the other guys or two? Well, was in a video conference. Until he too got fucked. But Infirmary has only like a, only one, you know, kind of venom. Oh yeah, a very unique enemy time around here. Luckily doesn't appear for the rest of the game, but it can be a pretty freaky one. Mark Tyson. Yep, this guy. Which he was supposed to be a burning zombie, but oh well. High incidents of psychological reports. Let me first. Audio log for Dr. Cassian, currently stationed at Mars City. I've just left the weekly status meeting here in medical. The most prominent topic was the vast number of psychological issues we are seeing as of late. 
The number of reports indicates that 10% of the overall base personnel have shown symptoms. As many people will not come in for this type of thing, the number of affected personnel could truly be in the 30 to 40% range. <laughs> it has even manifested itself here in medical. I have several nurses and a couple of good doctors out for related reasons. I'm going to formally request two additional psychiatrists on the next shuttle from Earth. The two we have are being overworked, and the content of their sessions with patients is starting to affect them as well. Dr. Casey now. So much shit in the floor too. And I saw this guy's guys will take got mostly peppered on his arm too. Also, just so we forget. Dr. Mark Casey at 1547, a patient Jonathan Wills was admitted after complaining of insomnia and nausea. According to the nurse, Mr. Wills was calm and exhibited no signs of disorder when he was brought to exam room 5. Right. However, by the time I reached him at 10 after 4, his personality had changed dramatically. When I entered the room, Mr. Wills lunged at me with a scalpel he apparently stole from a supply drawer. With the assistance of an orderly, we managed to subdue and sedate him without injury. Mr. Wills was heavily medicated and could not be diagnosed, but in the 20 minutes he was left unattended, he managed to carve three symbols in his arm and cut his own tongue into two halves. I, I can only guess at the cause of his problems. I hope that additional psychiatrists arrive soon. In the meantime, in response to this assault, all medical supplies and armaments will be locked in a secure hospital cabinet. The code? With the code 347. Dr. Casey and out. Lovely. Alright. Well, there's that as well, too. Yeah, at least it's meant to let the uh, inevitable was able to break off sooner. Break open sooner or later. <coughs> Burning a zombie, huh? Get fucked. Should explore this hub, you know, a little bit more, you know, when I start the game. Or oh, whatever. because he wouldn't have his helmet on. These two regular zombies make you get the pistol some use at least. Video link up requested. Video link up requested. Video link up requested. Link up requested. Link up requested. I'll be there in a bit. Video connection established. Marine. I can't believe you're still alive. <laughs> so I I'm believe unable it. to return to Mars City. All passages out of the Delta Complex have been blocked. I'm setting up a command post here. I can monitor status reports of the entire base from Delta Central Authority and communicate with other Marine teams. Mm -hmm. It's your mission to link up with Bravo Team and get that transmission sent. Head toward Alpha Labs. It's the fastest way to find them. I'll update your PDA security clearance from here. Good job. And good luck, Marine. <laughs> Thank you very much. Oh, that fucked up. The chain gun in the side too, but that's not where to be seen as of now. There are indeed some supplies in here in the armor and everything. Problem is to get the code. That's a problem. Armor, ammo. Even took away the uh the plasma gun too. Oh whatever. Well, at least there's another sight for sore eyes nonetheless. And believe it or not, yes I am spring. Shit. Thank you. Hold on. Remember, you know, like, you know, I always say it'll take to save the game quite often because you never know whenever. Oh. Whatever. Well, Bill Tyson then. Here's your security. Patrols approved. 
Chi Shaday. City, symbol, that's pretty sensitive. Locked onto to the Marines and begin firing him. And loading. Would have been killed. Immobilize it. Aha, uh -huh, interesting. Trooping down. Replace Allen. Transport. Shit. Thanks. 584. Audio report on troop morale. Morale here is beginning to drop. It's nothing to worry about yet since I keep my marines sharp and ready to go. But events at the base are wearing on the troops. There have been a lot of things happening here on the base. I believe the UAC experiments being performed here must be the cause. Out here, they could be experimenting on God. There are quite a few people missing. No marines, of course. It's the civilian population I am referring to. Bottom line, Whatever it is they have going on here has my men on a razor's edge. At this point, there is no cause for alarm, but I am requesting we rotate squads every 90 days instead of every 180. I will continue to report as the situation develops. It is good we have the new Marines en route. Fresh faces will help. Sergeant Tyson, out. Yeah, fresh faces. More like fresh meat in the slaughterhouse, eh? Good. That was easy. This was easy. No way over there, alright. And this will be the fire alarm, I bet. <laughs> and of course. any operational sentry bots, use them. Those guys pack a lot of firepower. Nice, nice. The UAC is here to help you. Psychological services are free and confidential. For those uh, free services, all right. Yep, I think I like to sign up for those free psychological services. <laughs> Quickly. They need all the firepower they can get. Sending that transmission is critical to our survival. Please, 
gun or whatever it could be. We'll see. And this thing really is a very fancy place, is it not? Facility is a corporate presence of Mars, Union Air Space, and executives in the upper levels are responsible. Yada yada. 
I don't think you understand, Dr. Petruger. No, I understand everything. I'm telling you now, Doctor, the UAC is taking over this operation. Operation? Is that what you're calling it? The situation is out of control. It's not out of control, Swan. You are. I'll manage this, and you and your flunky will be taking control of nothing. Do you understand? Yes, Petruger. I think I do understand. Okay, plan B. Anyways, uh, that's all the time I had for the time being. Hope you guys enjoyed this one as much as I did. And I look forward for the next one, so hope to see you guys next time. And until then... <laughs> I thought the same thing was already shut off, but whatever.